Hey guys, Aura134 here. Uh, Happy New Year's, and it's time for another deck profile. Um, <clears throat> sorry I haven't uploaded much in the past couple of weeks. I've been having some huge trouble with my computer uploading videos to YouTube. Like, YouTube's being really retarded about it. Like, their advice is turn off your firewall and uh, turn off your, your anti-spyware software because it messes up the program. I'm not turning that shit off just so I can upload videos to YouTube from my computer. That's not happening. Um, also, Flipshare. If any of you guys have Flip Video, the new version has some huge issues <coughs> with connecting to YouTube. Uh, it keeps saying it's losing connection, and it really isn't. But um, anyways, uh, I came in third with uh, Plant Synchro. My only loss was to Agent Angel. Uh, that deck, like, that, the guy who played it is a nice guy, but that deck is retarded. Like, that, that deck needs to get hit really bad. I mean, it has so many easy-to-summon boss monsters. You got three Hyperions, two Christias, two Trags, a Gores, a BLS. Like, I'm not saying that Plant Sinker isn't retarded, but, like, Hyperion is just so easy to summon. Like, Hyperion being able to remove from the, an H from the Graveyard is special is it's his gimmick. Okay. Being able to remove from from the field, I think, is a very good thing to do because you play your normal summon, banish, you're good. But the fact that you can just banish an agent from your hand, like, he's just so easy to bring out. Like, the deck is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think Hyperion's gonna get limited in the next ban list. Uh, but anyways, uh, here's the deck profile. You got yourself, of course, Three reborn Tengus. Uh, it's because, well, obviously because Tengu lets you repopulate the field really easy. He just always has field presence. You got the plant engine of Lone Fire Blossom, Dandelion, Spore, and Glow Up Bulb. Oh, well, what's left of the plant engine, anyways? Got Debris Dragon for some easy sinking. It really depresses me that he's at one. Um, of course you got your three tour guides and your Sangan. So the Sangan engine, he really needs to get banned next format. Like it, this engine here is ridiculous. I, I'd say this is the reason why Plant Sanker remains Thunder Kings and why a lot of decks are remaining Thunder Kings and so many stupid shit happens because you're just like, oh, let me go into tutor into Sangan and just do whatever I feel like. It's ridiculous. I think if Sangan's gone and it's replaced with Torbus, this engine will be a lot more tame and less retarded. But that's just me. Uh got one Reaper to poke things out of the hand. Really like it. Um one Valor. Then I'm running uh two Max C's because Max C wins games. Um, I'm also maining, uh, three Thunder King Ryos. I think it's great because you always, almost always open up with one Thunder King Ryo because you're maining three. Or you'll get to one really quickly. And with this deck, opening up with a Ryo is great because, especially against the mirror match, or against agents or something, it's just a good idea if you can open up with three Ryos, or open up with a Ryo. I mean, uh, it's better. One Caius. I think two's too many. One Gores and one BLS. Um, next on to the Magics, one Reborn, it's Staple, Dark Hole, Staple, Giant Trunade, Staple, uh, two MSTs for the back row. MST needs to get limited if they want to keep heavy. It, it creates a format where back row isn't intelligent. It's really annoying. Uh, one mind control. Two enemy controllers. I mean, I just want to say that, like, last format had its issues, but uh, at least it took some skill to play around some of the back row. Like, it was a little ridiculous setting five and go passing, but it didn't allow bad players to just randomly win because they're like, oh, I'm going to explode with a whole bunch of random ass shit and then... Oh, you're not running trap cards because trap cards aren't that good, or they're too easy to get rid of? 
Oh, too bad you lose. Anyways, uh, foolish. One for one. Scapegoat. I think he probably needs to get hit as well. And Pot of Avarice. Uh, one of the traps. I'm meaning two bottomless trap holes because it's such a great side against agents. Also, um, I hate, hate, hate uh, Dino Rabbit. Or just a dino in general. Anything that can make the Lagias and Dolkas easy, I hate it. But um, this is especially a good tech against the rabbit build because you plop down this, they rabbit into their two dinosaurs, and then they exceed into uh, Lagia or Dolka. You flip up the bottomless. If it's Lagia, they just have they have to force their negation on uh, bottomless chapel, which I'm okay with. And if it's Dolka, it just dies. I think it's a great way to get rid of those. Uh, one torrential. Double warning and judgment. And trap dust shoot. Uh, that's for the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, one wind up Zen Mines, because Zen Mines is amazing. One Levier and the Sea Dragon, because it's derp. One Leviathan Dragon. One Utopia. Utopia is really nice. I like him a lot more than Roach this format, because, well, obviously Roach is weenie and you can't protect him. Uh, the only problem with Utopia is, if your opponent declares an attack on him without any Xyz material in him, he blows up before damage step, so they get a replay battle. It's retarded. Like, that's Utopia's biggest issue, is that the fact that when he kills himself by his effect, it happens a declaration, not uh, damage. Which is really annoying, because uh, I can't count the number of times where I'm like, well, crap, my, I gotta get rid of this Utopia. Crap, I can't get rid of Utopia. Well, I'm getting direct attack next turn. Uh, formula. Armory. Hyper Librarian. Cataster. Brio. Orient. So, you know, pretty much your standard plant sinker lineup. Ancient Fairy. Black Rose. Scrap Dragon. Stardust Dragon. And Trish. Uh, that's it for the uh, extra deck. Side deck is Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon and two Cyber Dragons for against. Uh, uh, Karakuri and stuff. Also, uh, another cute note is that Zen Mines is a machine, so you can uh, contact with uh, Cyber Dragons on it. You got yourself uh, two Kaiko the Ghost Destroyers for uh, against Agents and against Dark World. Shuts them down pretty good. Dark World's can't use their field spell. They can't remove for Hyperion. No BLS. No Sorks. Nothing. Plus, with this, you can you can pull the graphas or the agents and stuff out of the graveyard. It's really handy. Um, two fossil dino Apache cephalos. It's great, especially if you're trying to push for game. Plop one of these guys down. You know you're not gonna get gorsed. That's actually what uh, gave me game in my round one match. Plop down fossil dino when I knew I was gonna put try to push for game. Uh, I didn't. I couldn't deal with the gore, so I summoned it. I, even though I had a tango with the field, I'm like, I gotta, I, I'm gonna win this turn anyway, so don't have to worry about it. I really love Fossil Dyna right, for right now. Um, two Leeching the Lights against Agents is just too good. Uh, third MST. Double D Prison for uh, decks that summon a bunch of really big things, like uh, Dark Rolls and Agents and stuff. Citing two debunks, pretty much again for agents in dark worlds. This card is like Herald of Orange Light is ridiculous. This card is such a good combo to stop it. Um, and then one Vanity's Emptiness. 
Vanity's emptiness is so funny. Um, its effect is when this card is face up on the field, neither player can special summon, but if a card is sent from your field or your deck to the graveyard, uh, Vanity's emptiness is destroyed. So, it, like, it's easy to get rid of it, sort of, but like, just one of those things, like, I've been uh, playing with it and uh, testing with it and like, oh, you have those down, they one for one with their dandy, you flip a Vanity's Emptiness, they just blew two cards from their hand. It's, it's a really good comment from uh, Starstrike Blast. I really do highly recommend, if you guys are looking for a side deck card, if one space open, two maybe, try this. If you are having trouble against Plant Sinker or any other special summoning deck, because this is significantly uh, useful against them. Uh, anyways, that's the deck. Uh, hope you guys like it. It's Plant Synchro, so I didn't think I needed to explain too much. Uh, look for more content in the new year. Or 1 through 4. Signing out.